almost two-thirds of women in developing countries work in vulnerable jobs as self-employed persons or as unpaid family workers. As a result of the recent global economic crisis, many more women are being pushed into vulnerable jobs with limited or no safety nets that gird against income loss during economic hardship. The large number of women unpaid workers in family businesses also adds to their already heavy burden of unpaid work, care work in the household. At the outset of the financial and economic crisis, UNDP, the organization I represent, moved swiftly to bring a gender dimension into global and national policy responses to the crisis. We've analyzed the different impacts of the crisis on women and men in different regions and developed policy options to address them. By addressing such differences in economic policies and linking more closely economic and social policies, governments can trigger faster recovery and create more inclusive economies and more equal and balanced societies. We recently issued a guidance note, which we call Turning the Global Economic and Financial Crisis into Opportunity for Poor Women and Men, and we have copies somewhere outside the room that you can take. We, in this <coughs> publication, we offer a step-by-step -step action plan for gender-responsive crisis recovery. Of course, taking into account different uh, country contexts, this is a generic guidance that can be used creatively by different countries. You can find copies of the note at the back of the room. I encourage you to take them and share them with your colleagues and partners in development. We are now working to institutionalize building the capacities of policymakers in gender responsive economic policy management in the regions. While the crisis has presented us with serious challenges, of course it also presents us an, an opportunity, like all crises. It gives us a window of opportunity to rebuild the global and national economies in ways that recognize the differences between men and women in the economy. I believe the time has come for us to reflect more seriously and to contribute to the process of global economic reforms not just reform of the financial system architecture, but broadly to contribute to how the international community measures and defines development and progress. In this context, UNDP and IDRC have provided support to an influential group of women thinkers, scholars, and activists who call themselves who identify themselves with something they call the Casablanca dream. We have engaged with them to draw upon their long years of research and activism to reflect on past achievements and insights and to support them to generate new understandings, to identify emerging issues and put forward recommendations to respond to the circumstances of the world in 2010 and beyond.